Last time on Gross Sailing, Benny and Benno were approached by a police vessel seven nautical miles off the coast of Turks and Caicos. The police didn't board Nomad and let the two proceed after a little chat. They continued the journey through the Bahamas but only saw San Salvador as they passed by all other islands during the night time. They did not want to spend $300 for stopping in the Bahamas and just sailed on towards the next milestone, the Gulf Stream, which should fast track them towards New Jersey. If they only hadn't run out of beer! Oh no! Moinsen! It's about 6.15 in the morning. It has been a beautiful night since the wind returned around 2ish. Um, we had about 12 knots of wind on average and we locked six and a half to seven knots with that. So that was perfect. We're going straight towards the Gulf Stream now. Um, should arrive there in about 10 hours and then have a ramp onto the northern highway of the Gulf Stream, uh, pushing us with three knots towards New Jersey. Time to wake up Benno now. I'm going to bed. Bye-bye! Sailing in the trade winds is easy, or at least predictable, as wind direction and wind strengths are somewhat constant. We've usually sailed in 3 to 4 before of winds coming from the southeast. The further north we got, the less constant the wind became. We were facing a stationary high with little to no winds to the north of the Bahamas. This allowed us to go swimming, but literally blocked our way. Nomad holds 210 liters of diesel, plus 40 liters in spare canisters. From where we were, it was unlikely that we had sufficient diesel left to motor all the way to the US mainland, but we didn't know. The fuel gauge stopped working and we had to calculate what's left based on the average consumption per hour mentioned by the previous owner. 3 liters per hour for the engine at 5.5 to 6 knots and 1 liter per hour for the generator. But are those averages correct? Nothing we could do about it there and then, a Nomad is a sailing vessel anyhow. So blue water fun continues as we're waiting for wind. was picking up slowly, half a knot at its outer edges continuing to strengthen to three and a half knots at the center. The route we sailed looks really weird but made best use of the stream's current. Back on board. Woo, that was oh, it's full moon, no wind and a Gulf Stream. We just decided to switch off the engine because we've been running the engine for a while and we don't want to waste our diesel. We're still making 4.4 knots and that is very lucky because we are in the Gulf Stream. We were hoping kind of to lock 9 to 10 knots but um, that would be with wind. Uh, let's see how the night goes. It certainly carries us towards New Jersey. And now it's awesome dinner time. Parmigiana. Oh by the way we are out of water from our water tanks. We thought we had 600 liters. The 210 liter tank in the front was apparently empty. I thought Russell, the previous owner, told me it was full, but it wasn't and we didn't fill it up. We have some canners just left. We'll see how far we get there. We'll be okay. We have plenty of rum. <laughs> This was the last pleasant night for a while. 
We made it past the stationary high pressure system, getting closer to Cape Hatteras in North Carolina. Pleasant weather was replaced by showers, thunderstorms and gusty winds. Fun at first, but pretty annoying after a while. I hand steered through all thunderstorms because I didn't want to burden the autopilot nor Benno with wind gusts up to 45 knots. Raining man! That thunderstorm number four rolling over us in like three hours. It's been 11 days since we lifted anchor in San Juan and we haven't stopped since so 11 days at sea it's quite an experience I I would say we passed by San Salvador six or seven uh, days ago and this was also the last time we had we had contact with anybody it was a lot of fun though it changed a little since we've left the trade winds and hit the Gulf Stream I guess the weather has changed it's not as constant anymore we have rough nights and usually unpleasant days uh, we are quite exhausted and tired uh, but we are we're hanging in there we are now have to stop at Norfolk uh, Virginia but we have to do the detour because about five days ago we ran out of beer about three days ago we ran out of water uh, fresh water it's not too bad yet because we still have some drinking water left but we couldn't take any showers or do the dishes or anything uh, and we're running very low on fuel we have if my calculations are correct and that's a big if 58 liters left and we have 20 in a spare we didn't fill up the other spare canister in San Juan unfortunately so we should be able to stay afloat for another two to three days with energy and at the same time motor about a hundred miles we're all good, we're just a little a little tired. Good morning guys. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. Cal woke me up at 5 a.m. So it's our time to go out for exercising in Liberty State Park. Oh, Benny, please come home soon. We are missing you a lot. It's so quiet at home and I guess it's a maximum of five days. We still have to wait for you, but come back. Really looking forward now to get to Jersey and uh, meet Dina Kiel again and uh, see other people, talk to other people. Uh, Benno has been great though, I, I have to say. It's the first time he's ever sailed. He's such a good mate. It's really great to have him on board. I think uh, I have to get up there now and relieve him of his duties sailing because he hasn't slept much either. We see each other when it's it's rough weather, which has been the case for the last two days, basically. And uh, whenever we can afford it, somebody goes to sleep, so we, we stay energized and up. <laughs> What's up, sailor? How Come are we on, doing? Ben. How are we doing? A little bit wonky to the left. <laughs> to the right. How's our BMG? Guess what? Six? No. Seven. Half a bit. Seven point three. Seven point four. Wow, we're doing seven point four knots. Towards Woo -woo. our next waypoint. That's awesome. After we rounded Cape Hatteras and put some distance between us and the Cape, our lives were good again. We emptied the last spare diesel canister into the tank. The last thing we wanted was to drain the air from the fuel system for the first time at sea. And we didn't have any spare fuel filters on board. Now added to the permanent spare part list.
kept this last beer for a dire moment. Since we never reached that low, we enjoyed it when entering Chesapeake Bay, along with the rest of our salami. Better eat it than give it to customers. Guys, we made landfall. <laughs> you guys are two of the bravest guys I know, or two of the dumbest. <laughs> <laughs> Probably both. <laughs> <laughs> On the land. Woo! It is beyond words to describe our euphoria and feelings we had the moment we went landfall in Norfolk and left Normand for the first time after 13 days at sea. Unbelievable happy, accomplished, glad. The deprivations and annoyance of Cape Hatteras in the last days were tuned down to a silent hum in the back of our heads. The description of our neighbor seems to catch it all. You are either the bravest guys I know or two of the dumbest. What do you think? Which one is it? Join us next time as Benny and Benno take their new liberty to explore Norfolk, eat and shop what they crave for at sea just to embark after a night stop on the final leg of the journey from the Caribbean to New Jersey. See you next time!